Hey, so today we're going to be looking at how to make a banner. And you're going to be using some of the skills you just kind of talked about in the last week where your image cutting, you know, out as object. But then you're going to also be thinking about font and including those things in creating a banner that would go like at the top of a website or at the top of a social media thing. Um, so let's just walk you through a couple quick steps here. Number one, always good to just open up Pixlr and um, go to Pixlr E. That's the most advanced one, which gives you the most skills, possibilities. And then what we're going to do is, as it talks about in the course, you're going to need a background image. You're going to need an object that you cut out. And then you're going to need text. Those are kind of the three main things. Um, and then eventually you're going to crop it to be in that horizontal um, banner style. Um, so it's kind of putting together a couple skills here. So first off, let's find a background image of, let's say, um, Pixabay, just to get started. Um, let's do a basketball court, just record. While it's loading here, I'll just open up a new image. So when I'm opening up this image, you can see that it's possible that I could bring in a background and things like that. Or what you can do is create a new file. And then this file could already be in the shape you want it to be. So for this file, I want it basically 2,000 pixels by, let's do 500. And this is going to be banner. So I'm creating a new image. You can see it's in the shape of a banner. And now I got to find some images here. So let's search field instead. My search results are a little slower than I was anticipating. All right, um, let's do soccer field. You can see here there's a lot of nice free to use images so that you can get whatever you need for free. Um, okay, so I like this one right here. And if the nice thing about this site is there's a lot of options. And also, ooh, I actually like this, this would be kind of cool. Um, and also these options will have pretty big file count. Um, so let's look at this. You don't have to worry about file sizes, basically what I'm saying there. And we're going to free download. Um, it's funny, actually, this is 1920, which was how wide um, our first image was. So that'll line up nicely. We don't need it any bigger than that. Prove you're not a robot. Download it. You can see it here, it shows up in my downloads. So then when I go to Pixlr, I can go File, Open Image, and it should be in my downloads, usually at the top of the recents. There we go. And now I have this image right here. So I'm going to make a selection uh, from this image. And it doesn't have to be exact, but get the general idea. Actually, I want it to be a little higher. So I want the goal at the bottom. All right, then I press Control C to copy the selection. And I go, you see when I open the image, it opens it right here in the top here. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my banner that I created and paste that image. And you can see here that it fills up that space because the pixel count was right. So if you were to do the wrong thing and just go to Google Images and type soccer field, um, number one, a lot of people on Google Images are trying to make it so that you basically have to buy their thing, their image. So the issue you run into here is a lot of these pictures are smaller. So file size, you know, this you can see that's licensable, but images may be subject to copyright and you just run into so many issues with these and you can see here that some of the images are the same 
but I kind of like the Pixabay or the Unsplash um, image options even better. And then you don't have to run into all the issues. So like I said, using Unsplash or Pixabay are always, is always a good idea. Okay, so now we're gonna write out soccer. So I need to find my type tool. And one thing I always noticed as a teacher is I love seeing students using the type tool, but um, I also notice instantly when it's just the font that defaults in the program, Arial, because I taught this for a long time. So the second I see that you haven't played with your fonts at all, it is tricky for me to be excited about your design. Ooh, I really like this one. Um, atmosphere font. And it's a little small, so I'm gonna go into it and increase the size of it. Um, That's looking better. And you can see here the line spacing under this tool. Um, so that would be space between your lines and the letter spacing, the kerning I can increase so that I have a little more room for the soccer ball. So if you need to spread out your letters, that's how you can do it rather than type individual letters. And then we need to find a ball. Now the nice thing is when you're doing searching, you can search for images that have like white backgrounds. So then you can make your job easier. <laughs> um, or you can search for PNG images. Um, so you can see here now I'm searching for soccer ball and it'll bring up the options. Now you can see here, it brings up a lot of options that would be pretty tricky to cut out, except here's a white background one. So that would make it a lot easier. Now, also, if you go here, you can do photos, vector graphics, illustrations, or videos. Um, so those are just some nice options for you. So I'm going to grab this soccer ball image right here because I like the ball on the left as a possibility. And again, I'm going to, you can even notice there's no background in here, so that'll make it easy. So I'm going to do free download again. It's again the right size because it's high enough quality. Thank you, Pixabay, for making my job easier. Downloading that image, it'll show up here. Go here, file, open image. And now again, it will open it in a separate um, window, pops over here. Now what I need to do is again, just make a selection. Now you can see there's no background behind this ball. So I'm gonna make this selection of just this ball, Control C. Now this ball, when I bring it in, is gonna be really big, Control V. You can see it's way too big. So what I need to do here is when I click the pointer tool and I make it smaller, you can see here that it keeps its shape and it doesn't distort it. Let's see how that looks. Maybe pretty good for size. I just need to change the kerning on those letters now to increase a little. So again, line space, letter space I mean. And if it doesn't fit, that just means I need to change my text box to be bigger. As you can see here that the text box was big enough. Um, all right, then I'm going to go back to the type tool, click on it. Now if I move it over, 
Okay, so that's pretty close. The only thing I would do is you can see that the word soccer and the soccer ball image are not quite centered. So I'm going to take and actually merge these two layers because I like the spacing on them. So if I right click on here and I merge down, now they're on the same layer. So when I grab them, I can move them together, get them relatively centered. And now I have an image, a banner that says soccer with a soccer net. And you've seen me do it. So now it's your task. Once again, you have an image that's cut out on top of the layer panel. You have your background image and you have type. That's all playing together in the same wonderful world. And then to turn it in, what you do is just go file, save. Now, if you're working on an, uh, an image, you can keep working on it. But when you're ready to download it, JPEG or PNG are what you should be turning in. And I'm just going to download this. It'll show up here, and then you just turn that into the course. Thank you so much for uh, kind of hanging out and watching this, and I hope that you have a good time um, making your banners. Now, this could be for anything. It could be for some, like a YouTube channel, or it could be really for anything that you would want it to be. Enjoy. Have a great day.